Hello everybody, it's Chrome Time here at Empire Chrome. You know me, I'm the Chrome Man, and with me is Junior Sporting his Wild Weasel look. Wolverine. On this particular truck, this is our 2011 Kenworth that we're still uh, installing parts. This particular truck has an American Eagle contour style bumper in stainless steel. See, it follows the contour of the wheel here. We've got uh, a good match of the contour of the fender right here. It's a 22 taper to a 20. The uh, owner of the truck wanted his uh, name cut out in the bumper itself. Uh, on this particular truck, uh, if you just have the name, or uh, on any bumper, if you, if you just have the name emblazoned on the truck, it's kind of hard to see at nighttime. We wanted to match the uh, color of the light coming through the light box with the same spectrum, spectrum light that we have everywhere else. LEDs are true spectrum lights. We didn't want to use a phosphor light because that would be a little bit different than a standard LED light and an uh, incandescent light shining through a, a lens gives a really weird look. What we ended up doing is using small strip lights, uh, two on the top and two on the bottom, and Junior uh, figured out that we could use some translucent vinyl, that's the same stuff that they put on uh, backlit signs. As you can see, it lit the back of this really well. It's a great glow. Everybody's gonna be, see, be able to see the, way, uh, the name as it's rolling down the road. Now I'll turn over to Junior here and he'll show you what we've done on the side. All right, today we put these uh, 60 inch fuel tank fairings on this Kenworth truck here. We uh, installed the Maxima series light here that matched the ones that are on the cab panel or on the cabin sleeper panel. And uh, we actually lined each one of these up so they're in a direct straight line. Um, these uh, tank fairings, they cover up the brackets that are nice and ugly here. They're all black and ugly so this is a good way to clean them up, make them look real nice. And we move to here. We uh, also installed them going along the bottom of this step here, which these are all in line, almost space exactly even all the way to the back of the truck, in line with the lights that are on the cabin sleeper kit. Also again here today, we added that pedestal light that's up on the very top of that mirror there. Matches this one here that's down here on the bottom. They're in a straight line, so it looks nice and clean. Matches this light that's also on the fender. Uh, that's a pearl light from Grand General. All those are pearl lights. Those are great additions to this truck. We've got a few more parts and some interior parts to put on this truck. Tune in next time to Chrome Time. Until then, don't drive an ugly truck.